Becoming a better game dev is not always only about knowing how things work and what's good and what's bad and the repercussions of something. It is also sometimes about being more efficient in what you do. So increasing the speed of your workflow, knowing shortcuts and things like that. So let's take a look at some tips and tricks to improve your game development journey. Here are some useful hotkeys to increase the speed of uh, managing your different assets. If we want to find something specific in our scene, we can of course just type it and find it in our hierarchy over here. If we have found a specific one and we don't know where it is, we can press the F key to focus on that specific object so we know where it is. If we at this point want to, for example, find it in our content browser, we can just hold down Control and B and it will open up the content browser and select the asset for us. And another hotkey is if we have a blueprint like this one selected, for example, or any kind of object, you can just hold down Control and E to open up the blueprint immediately. If you want to keep your blueprints a little bit more clean, you can select a bunch of nodes like this and press Q and it will align the execution line for you like this. If you instead hold down Shift and press S, it will align the boxes on the bottom part of them. Shift W will align them along the top. Equally, if you have them separated, so you want to, for some reason, have them stacked, maybe, you can have them like this, and Control a will align them towards the left side, and Control, sorry, Shift-D will align them on the right side. If you want to rearrange some of your execution lines in your blueprint, you can disconnect them easily by holding down the Alt key and then left-clicking. Or if you have an execution line already connected that you want to somehow move around to a different place, you can just hold down your control and you can actually drag your execution line and hook it up to somewhere else that you want to have it run. If you want to drag in variables to set or to get, like turn rate for example, you can always set or get them like this, but you can also hold down control and drag it in to get a get or hold down alt and drop it to get a set automatically. When manipulating objects in your scene, it's often very useful to quickly change between the different modes. You can change them up here if you want to, uh, but you can also change from having a movement transposition mode, which is hotkey for W, and then you can change to rotation, which is E, so you quickly get into that mode, and R to change into scaling mode. So quickly changing between the different modes are available as well. And when you're moving objects around, you usually want them to snap together in uh, snug ways so that they fit well together. So if you have objects of certain sizes, you might want to find a snapping size that is good for you when you're moving them around so that they quickly match up. But these are predefined. So if you have something that doesn't match these, you can easily add those yourself by going to Editor, Editor Preferences, then scrolling down to Viewports, and we have a snapping category over here where we have some advanced and in here we can see an array of the different values that we have and we can easily just add one that is better suited for the different dimensions that we might have so now it's been added over here as well if we want to add multiple copies of an object in our world we can instead of copy pasting it or dragging it out multiple times we can just select it inside of our environment and once we have it selected, we can then hold down our Alt key and move it to create another copy. This also works if we are in rotation mode, so we can hold down Rotate and Alt. And then if we move that out of the way, we can see that we have created another copy. Something else you can do is if you want to change the position of an object and you want the camera to move with you in case it goes outside of the viewport, you can just hold down Shift and your camera will move along with you when you're moving the object around. Hopefully you found this useful. Keep on learning. Take care. A big thank you to all of you who like, comment, subscribe and share my videos, or through other means support this channel. You are what makes this channel grow and become a resource for other people to learn from.